Diel on the show. Chak na naman sa Grok May para sa ating Leo Mord. Zap na naman sa Selena and Bakpit sa Esmeralda. And on the side of Brent Ipro, you have Coco sa kanyang tennis la Ribo on the carry Yuji with the question Yel Hayes as the Akai and Faye naman ang gagamit ng Minotaur as we see so execution punishers dito kinokontrol lang yung kaya nilang control lane invading the green buff of the Leomord just to limit the level 2 kagad potential and scaling ng ating Leomord kasi once na mag level 2 si Leomord pwedeng pwede mo nang iwan yung lane and what this uh, means is pwedeng gumawa ng movement yung Bren Epro on the other side of the, the map hindi nila kailangan problemahin si Kari may promo protect na namang Minotaur and makikita nyo kagad buha baba kagad yung Bren Epro kasama si Yuji hindi pa siya level 4 dito pero that's gonna be a crap coin kagad na makukuha ng Bren hindi pati ang ganda ng rotation ng Bren Epro doon they are able to steal the green on the side of Soul Execration Punishers while that is happening though on the bottom lane Yuji oh, tries to run away oh mauna actually si Lina si hindi mo able to take that one out Yelly Hayes medyo na slow siya sa trap but again with the flicker out from Coco he will able to run away but going back to what I mentioned what I was trying to say earlier sa top lane ang ganda ng ikot ng Bren Epro kinuha agad nila yung green transition to their own green yeah then kasi hindi na makakaikot yung ano eh hindi na makakaikot yung choice ng Esmeralda sa middle lane Coco in the bottom lane medyo mamatay pero Chak na dito napapalit siya with the damage of the Akai alongside the 1000 pounder pero again you've mentioned yung invasion ng Soul Execration Punishers nasa loob kagod sila ng jungle ng Bren Epro and mamamatay si Daddy Yuji that's gonna be a kill for Esmeralda and si Payne sabi niya rito magahabol ako ng isang kill unfortunately walang damage yung Bren Epro with Harp on this, Sua Execration Punishers napakataas ng invasion capability nila. In-invade na yung green buff ni Leomon kanina. I-invade naman natin yung blue buff ng Brent Ipro. And now, level 5 na si Pakbet. And that's because of the beautiful rotation sa ginawa ng Suha kanina. Nakita natin nung ninakaw yung green buff ni Leomord. Si Leomord pumunta kagad ng mid. Kinuha yung kanyang level 3. Bumaba, pinatay si Yuji. Binigay nila yung mid lane kay Pakbet. That's why sobrang aga ng level 5 ng Pakbet dito. Actually, mag-level 6, level 6 na, na siya. So, sobrang taas ng XP advantage ng Soul Execration Punishers ngayon. Pati ang ganda ng pagkaka-delegate pagkaka ng mga experience nila. Kasi makikita mo, yung iba level 3 pa lang. Speaking of, Pain, si Pain kakakuha lang yung level 4. He's already charging up his rage. Oh my God. Pero makakahuli si Pakbet. Makakahuli si Pakbet. One down again sa side ng Bren Epro. Ito yung sinasabi natin na sobrang tagal eh. Ang hirap mo, kailangan hindi sayang yung ano, Minoan's Fury mo pag yung bagong patch ngayon ng, ano, ng, ng Minotaur. Yeah, 52 seconds yung Minoan's Fury. So wala pang Minoan yung Bren Epro ngayon pero nandito si Yuji. Tito damage on Dian pero hindi pa siya napapatay. Hurricane okay, Dance. Dance. Hurricane Dance though, locking down the show. Pero eto na, si Ang Esmeralda na napakasakit nung kanyang sayaw-sayaw. Pain dito, susunod pa, tumatalon, and mamubuhay siya. Pero Pakbet taking so much damage, napatay pa ng barrier si Minotaur. Ang galing nun. Ah, talagang alam nila kung kailan sila papasok at kung kailan, kung kailan sila hindi papasok. They're just trying to uh, kite out eh. Kung yung AOE ng Power of Nature should be enough. And also, yung ginamit niya rin yung Guardian's Barrier para kung sakaling mabuhay siya, hindi, hindi siya makakatakas. And also, nice rotation from Sua Execration Punishers. They're able to capitalize their jungle area and also giving space for Selena. Yeah. So, execution pa siya. Oh, pinatay ni Grok. Si Kuya Yuji, mga kaibigan. And on the top lane, again, invasion under the tower. Hindi pa natin napag-uusapan ito. Ang ganda naman, taas ang ganda naman. Ang juggle capability ng Sua Execration Punishers under the tier the uh, turrets. Pero napakagandang Hurricane Dance nga ni Akai. And it allowed him to save the carry from that engagement. Pero hindi pa tapos yung Sua Execration Punishers. This is actually beautiful. Kin pinapatay lang nila yung wave sa likod ng Tore para mas maaga yung pag-clear nila ng wave. And makakaharap ng ibang rotations yung uh, ibang heroes ng Sua Execration Punishers. Pero mas mukhang gusto nila yung objectives. Natuto na yung Sua Execration Punishers dito. Oh, it's all about objectives. Cutting out the wave is sobrang importante. Kasi it's really difficult to last hit inside the tier 1 turret. Pero kapag nakat mo na yung lanes, sure agad yun na makukuha at makukuha mo yung tier 1 turret. Map advantage. Oh! That oh! From Zapno, mga kaibigan! Patay! Hindi pa pala nakatakbo pa. And there pa. you go, mamamatay na si Teresa. Esmeralda pa yung kukuha ng kill na yun. Guardians Barrier just to limit the uh, re-engage ng Bren E Pro pero wala rin sila sa pwesto. It is gonna be a turtle take from Sua Execration Punishers and makakakontest ba ang Bren E Pro Chak Nu is charging up the power of nature. Tinamaan ng arrow siya kay, pero it's just gonna be short. Pero the amount of damage from that Selena is just so high. Si Dian na ipit. Na ipit. Ika nga si Dian. And nakuha ni Esmeralda yung turtle. Pain was not in the position to get the Minoan's Fury. And wala rin naman kasi siyang kakampi doon. So Bren Epro, hindi nila makakontest. 3k gold lead 
for Suo Execration Punisher. It's gonna be another objective already. Mino oh. wants Fury, pero asan yung follow ups damage? Yuji, nilabas na yung Shadow Big Slaughter, pero oh. easy enough. And si Nii papabalik, si Minotaur. That's gonna be a kill for the Leo Mord. Guardians Barrier, pero hindi na magu follow up. The arrow will not hit, pero napakindang setup mula sa Suo Execration Punisher. Yung Falling Star Moon and also the Way of the Dragon combination, able to isolate the core hero. Ay, yung tank hero ng Bren E Pro. Ganun na sila kabilis. Yung aggression na pinapakita ng Suo Execration uh, uh, Punishers from the early game na controlling the jungle area of Bren E Pro is napakalaking advantage nila ngayon. Sobrang Let's... bilis na kalamit ni Reaper mula sa Selina. 5 minutes 47 seconds na kuha niya na kagad. So the amount of burst damage from Zapnu it is gonna be so high. Kung sino man yung talon na niya expect na matutunaw yung hero na yun kahit Minotaur pa yan wala silang pakialam. Backbet on the bottom lane contesting three heroes. The arrow will hit, pero nandun sa likuran si Koko. He's controlling two lanes right now. Dalawa yung kino control na lane ng Suha. Haba na kaform yung Liamord sa top lane. So all three lanes are shoved in under Bren E Pro. They they will try to contest, pero si Goshen on the bottom lane free form free form lang muna. Selina though. Hindi natin siya nababansin for the past few minutes pero kanina pa siya kumukuha ng resources. Hindi ito yung usual gameplay na nakikita natin from Selena. Usually talaga nangii-invade dyan, siya yung nasa harapan, siya yung nasa mukha nyo. Pero right now, alam niya na enough na pressure na si Cho at si Grok. So kinukuha niya lahat ng resources sa side ng Suex Creation Punishes. That's why they are able to amass so much gold lead here. 6k already, 1k wow. per minute. At... Ah, okay. So Selena went for a hunting, uh, hunter snipe. Yeah. Calamity Reaper, and I think he will go for another uh, life steal item here. But again, you mentioned earlier, he's going to farm it, farm it. Selena, alam niya na hindi niya kailangan mag overcommit or sumama at the moment sa two extra punishes with their initiation. Kasi alam niya na hindi pa enough yung ka yung defense capability ng Brain Epro for now. Diyan, diyan. He gets the kill on the terrace, lah, mga kaibigan, mama matay na. Si Kuya Coco dito and that's another kill going in favor of Sua Execration Punishers 9-1. Hindi kayo nananagirit mga kaibigan, Sua Execration Punishers, they're leading 8 kills right now wow. against Bren E Pro. Pero ang kailangan nila dito, kailangan nila i-maintain yung ganitong klaseng aggression. Again, you don't want to fight late game against a carry. Yeah. Especially, uh, yung, well, yung ginawa nilang rotation ngayon is exactly on point. Taking down every outer turrets from Bren E Pro and also securing the turtle. Pangatlong turtle take na to ng Suha Execration Punishers. Ang laki ng gold advantage nila. Looking at the net worth lead, almost 8,000 8, net worth lead for Suha Execration Punishers and they're not done yet. Yeah. Now na meron ng turtle buff si Esmeralda, he can just go in, hit the damage yeah. and also the Stardust Dance. Well, uh, well na nerf nga siya when it comes to shield, pero... Meron pa rin possibility na kayang-kaya pa rin nila makakuha ng 100% shield para sa Esmeralda. Again mga kaibigan, yung 50% na capping is dun lang yan sa shield niya. Yung initial, sa, yung initial starter. Yeah, yung initial, yung initial uh, shield niya. Pero it's yung steel yung steel ng, ng, uh, ng shield ni Esmeralda is pumapatong pa rin. So 100% pa rin siya kapag oh, nakapasok siya sa loob. Look at this threat. Ang layo ng threat ng Suo Execution Punishers. Dalawa yung way nila to initiate a teamfight against Bren E Pro, the Guardian's Barrier, and the Arrow from Selina. And looking at it right now, yung resource control ng Suo Execution Punishers, walang ma-farm yung Bren E Pro, kundi yung dumarating lang ng minion waves. And this has been the problem of carry for the longest time since nabuo yung ML mga kaibigan. <laughs> Kung nasa base ka, saan magpa-farm si carry? Ayun ang mahirap. Well, alam ng ano, Suha Execration Punishers na itong carry yung, mag, yung magdadala when it comes to late game. So, ang ganda ng control, again, the jungle control, walang blue na nakuha ang Bren E Pro and it's all been taken out by Suha Execration Punishers. But looking at, nga napakaganda ng Guardians Barrier, isolating two enemy heroes. Oh, Lods! Tika rito! Tinamakan ka ng para! Pero that's the Akai. Medyo makunat yan. Yelly Haze. Pero oh. still, that is very scary for Bren E Pro. Again, just look at the map. All lanes. Although yung bottom lane na nababalance out na, two lanes are being shoved in by Suha Execration Punishers. Dian! Dian pumasok na sa lakap! Pero masyado siya makunat. Pero mapapatay pa rin siya ni Yuji with the incandescence double Prima, combination. Prima, Minowans Fury! Minowans Fury! Asa yung follow-up? Pumasok na si Bakbet! That's the Esmeralda. Subukan yung patayin si Lina. Mapapatay si Teresla. And that's Coco down. Bakbet buhay na buhay pa rin with the shields of Stardust. Oras lang. Another shield for Bakbet. Tatlo pa yung sinisipan wow. niya. And subukan niyo ako patayin. Yuji tries to burst down the Leomor. Oh. Pero meron muna tayong pause. Has Bren E Pro. They're trying to fight Suha Execration Punishers. Ang ganda na. Well, nakita ko kanina. Isa sa mga ano, isa, isa, isa sa mga opening ng Bren E Pro is nagamit nila yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung penalty zone ni mm -hmm. Tarisla kanina sa middle lane. And nakita ng Suha Execration Punishers, okay, nagamit na yung penalty zone. Uh, well, we can go in, try to apply pressure. 
check natin kung kaya natin o hindi. Yes. Well, si Grak kumasok with the power of nature, walang makakontrol sa kanya. Sige, tol, kaya. Pasok tayo ng pasok. And I think that's one of the reasons why na nakapasok, na nahihirapan ngayon yung Brent E. Pro. Well, other than sa sinabi mo kanina na choke, na choke, na choke out sila mm -hmm. when it comes to resources. Again, guys, ladies and gentlemen, limited lang ang resources when it comes to the land of yeah. Don. At kapag naiwan ka, at least mga two minutes delay ka as a core hero, mm -hmm. especially as a carry, mahihirap at mahihirap ang atagang makabawi when it comes to teamfight. And ito na, nagbabalik mga kaibigan ang ating game as Brent E. Pro, they're trying their best to show two execution punishers away from their own base pero walang pakialam ang punishers they're gonna take the second turret ng Bren E Pro isa na lang yung natitira para sa side ng Bren I, and I do have to comment yung ginawa ni Pakbet dun once na pumasok nakita niyang tumalon si uh, Payne on the uh, Minotaur and he committed the Minoan's Fury pumasok agad siya hindi na nag-hesitate sabi niya sige sasayawan ko kayo apat yung tinamaan niya, sinipsipan niya lahat although late na siya dahil patay na si Dian the thing is, it could have been a disaster for two execution punishers kung umabot yung burst damage yung negrosyon pero again, si Pakbet sabi niya op! bawal yung pasok hindi pwede lang, dyan lang kayo pati yung, yung exchange na yun eh well, I can give my life for for a very uh, oh, nice Yuji, exchange he's trying to contest the lore take of two execution punishers pero the amount of threat na pwedeng ibato ng Punishers yung Barbiel pa nga lang problema Ako. na yung Pana pa pati yung Guardian's Barrier he was forced to use the Incandescence usage there and wala pa siyang another core item dito mm. Clock of Destiny pa lang yung meron siya he's trying his best to build up the Lightning, Lightning Truncheon pero I don't think that's gonna be enough sobrang kunat na ng mga heroes ng Sua Execution Punishers dito siguro pwede niya ma-burst down yung Selena and ayun na nga kompleto na yung Truncheon pero kailangan niya pang problemahin si Esmeralda rito. Tumama na naman yung pana ni Zapno rito. Sabi niya, Ribo, halika. Sandali lang. Dito ka muna. Pero ang Sue Execration Parish, mga kaming kumakatok na unti-unti silang uma-advance. They're, well, they're trying to keep an eye on this tier 3 turret para sa bottom lane. Pero mahirap dyan si Esmeralda sa top lane. And nagka-cut din. Mahirap dyan. Kapag nagka-cut yan at tumama yung kanyang Falling Star Moon, automatic magkocommit yung Bren Epro. Oh, and the, the Lord is already marching in inside. Ayan na! Tirahin na ang base na Riz na dito with the setup Pero Star Wars! Holy Star! Ayun! Holy Minoan Spirit! Kinamit ni Payne though Pero isn't it gonna be enough? Pakbet! Natula sa base! Napakagandang Hurricane Dance Mula kay Akai Pero 1 for 1 trade-off pa lamang yan mga kaibigan Araw hindi tumama pero Coco Soaking up so much damage from the Leomord And the base is... The base is makukuha ng Suad Secretion Punishers Walang sagot Ang Bren E Pro and Suad Secretion Punishers They take The first game away from Bren Epro. Wow, tol.